Four Dads and a Podcast is sponsored in part by HODL Services. If you're looking for a disc jockey, karaoke host, to videographer, our company can help. With over 17 years of experience, we would be happy to assist with your special event. You can contact us at 226-988-2895 or visit us at our website at hodlservices.vpweb.ca. That's H-O-D-D-L-E, Services. We look forward to hearing from you, and helping with your special event. This is Four Dads and a Podcast, and, well, that's really it. That's that's that. How do I fucking close this thing? <laughs> oh, this will do. This will not do at all. I have my menu open, and oh, there it is. Ta da! So I'm contemplating streaming Cyberpunk. Do it. Because they just activated direct to YouTube streaming through Stadia. Okay. What, Twitch? Uh, no, straight to YouTube. Fancy. And then they also have this cool new feature where it's like, it's like crowd play. So if people are watching, they can actually make choices in the game for you. Really? So you can like play with the audience, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. the fun way, oh. but no. <laughs> They'll just ruin your gaming experience, and making terrible choices. Blu-ray. I hope so. Yeah. Ooh, look at you, what, fancy man! What I what I miss? Nothing. Uh, guess what? We talked about cyberpunk. Yeah. <laughs> like right away. Did you talk? Did you talk about all? Did you talk about all the glitches that it's having? Yeah. Have you have right. you crashed a bunch? No, I haven't. I've had two glitches. That's Basically, my guns kind of locked up in combat, and I just had to reload my save. But it's okay because okay. Stadia doesn't play with anybody, so he's fine. <laughs> it's a single player game anyway, so I fuck know. you. All right, so before oh, we get you, started, hey everybody, welcome to episode five <laughs> of Four D One P. We should have that new intro there. We love it. You should love it too. Uh, tonight we have all four of us here. Welcome back, Jeff. Hey. We got we got Sean over there, and we got Blue Ray. What up? And of course we have here. I am I am Ray. I am the Ray. So uh, just to catch up on uh, last episode, Jeff was uh, was not around here for it, but uh, we were talking about a couple things of uh, how we we were. Uh, uh, what we were doing to stave off cabin fever for COVID. Jeff, just a couple minutes for you, just to get your, your two cents in so you don't feel left out. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, Jeff? What, what's oh, up with the, you? The things around your face. Uh, <laughs> oh. Painting miniatures. So, Fancy. Uh, for those of you that don't know yet, uh, we do have a YouTube stream of this as well. It's a little staggered as far as the release, but he oh, is uh, yeah. showing off some uh, some miniatures off to the That's camera right. there. Yeah, so I've been painting miniatures as much as I can. Uh, I have a desk full of paint here, and I recently got a 3D printer. Uh, so that's been fun. Uh, so you're printing your own miniatures then? and Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so how do you get the miniatures? What <laughs> He's do you... so excited. Okay. Let's bring oh. it down. That. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, do you yeah. design your own and print them, or do you get other people's I, designs and print them? I can, but actually there's this really cool thing that's going on <laughs> right now where like model, like 3D modelers are actually have like specific miniature making Patreons. And oh, nice. It's oh, like 10, okay. 10 bucks a month and you get like a themed release. Uh, you'll get like anywhere between 10 to 20 different models that you can print off uh, fully supported. So all you have to do is basically stick it in your printer and stick uh, and it comes right out. Printer. printer. <laughs> stick printer. it in and it yeah. comes out. Stick it right, stick it right <laughs> in that printer. 
stick it in a printer. Do you prefer to, do you prefer to stick it in fast or slow? Oh, I, 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 what, what I do is I stick it in and then I wiggle it around and I pull it back out and I stick it back in and then I wiggle it and then repeat, rinse, repeat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. I like that. I That's like in the instructions. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's page one of the manual. Yeah, right exactly. So I have a ton of miniatures there. I just dropped a ton of cash on a new kitchen. All right. I, IKEA kitchen. All right. You mentioned that. Yeah. Five. So I have like a thousand boxes sitting in my garage. Garage. Jesus Christ. Every I wasn't good, Your garage. So yes, I have boxes in there. <laughs> I'm ignoring you guys. And, we weren't uh, saying anything. Yeah. Sure. Just a uh, garage. Gar- He's English. In the garage. Uh, and I also decided the last minute to build something for Amanda for Christmas. Oh. Like, very last minute. A boat. I don't know. That's a great segue here. This is uh, probably going to be released around the holidays there. So everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Celebrate it hard, but safely. Uh, oh, fuck okay, you, fine. <laughs> Oh my god! So on the stream, <laughs> Jeff <laughs> forgot to turn off his Atta camera. Boy. His shirt off. <laughs> and now he has, his, he has his Christmas it's under. Our so first, little... first topless scene. <laughs> what? It's our first topless scene. So we all have Ray, our, Ray was all, narrating all while you uh, <laughs> disrobed. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I was just changing into my sweater, guys. Don't be last time, last time yeah, that happened, Sean... So explicit. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, Sean was gracious enough to turn the camera off, and we had to listen to see what he was doing or hear what he's doing. Yeah, but on I the have, feed, sorry, I, go ahead. I think you guys will learn. I have no shame. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh no, we're fully aware of that. Uh, that's why we love no, you. I'm, I'm talking to the the two or three listeners that might actually be listening. So. No, nobody's talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, Elena, thanks so much for that intro. It kicks so much ass. Yes. I know you're probably not listening, but you know what? The boys love it. Um, it yeah, also, on, on a different note here, we are all wearing uh, our festive shirts on the feed. So if you want to check it out, we're all there. I got my fancy bow tie and whatever. Jeff's got a Star Wars theme shirt. What do you got there, Braden? I've got my unbelievably expensive European Black Dahlia murder sweater. It's hot. It's itchy. It's horrible. I love it. That's what she said. Sean, what do you got there? Um, yeah, I just got this shirt, a very inexpensive T-shirt that I paid, I think, five bucks for. It just says, <laughs> this is that's, as merry as I get. <laughs> that's, that's appropriate. I like that. Yeah. Well, well done. So, um, and... Oh, bullshit holiday. I... <laughs> I still kind of went with the crazy hair theme a little bit. I had tried to get the uh, Philip J. Fry hairdo, but yeah. couldn't couldn't quite pull it off. So I've got this dual horn thing happening. I don't know if you uh, can see it there. No, so, not with the uh, not with the crazy background you got going on. It's yeah, uh, cutting off your it? hair. It filters no. it out a little oh, bit. No. Okay, yeah. let me let me switch it over here real quick. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there it is. There there it is. is. There yeah, it is. all right. You- Hills, you know what you should do? You should uh, do the um, uh, the Goku hairstyle or the Vegeta, where it's all blown back. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. power levels under nine thousand, so I don't oh. think that's possible. Hey, black. Ray, hey, Ray, yes. um, your giant nerd is showing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's okay. I was gonna say I was gonna gift you a bunch of miniatures as well. Please send yeah. them over. We'll do. So Jeff, Actually, you could. You could design your own miniatures and put it up on that Patreon thing you were talking about, like if you yeah. if you wanted yeah. to. And if sell. I wanted to, yeah. yeah. I I actually used to design or do some three D modeling back in the day. So okay, uh, actually, I've already. I'm at, one of the things I'm doing is I'm actually designing my own gaming dice. Uh, so I'm nice. actually mo- modeling them right now, and I'm going to print them off, and then I'm actually going to. Uh, silicon mold them and resin cast them, so it'll be. Legit. What do you have clamps? Uh, this. Clamps. <laughs> so on the feet, just okay. wagging his finger around, and there's something clamped something on the end of it, and we're all like, "It's a wood clamp." It's it's a wood just clamp. a little, a little wood clamp. Okay, I'm like what so is that? that I'm must sitting be a at my clamp. work desk at home, and I, I'm a fidgeter. I fidget. I so I always have something on my desk to. Just keep my hands busy. 
<laughs> okay, that's There's cool. No joke that's there. it. That's it. It's really. <laughs> that's really all. I, it I, is. It's it's. I, I gave it to you guys, and you just no. No, no, we're good. Yeah, that's well, banana. Leave that to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one. Let that one lie. <laughs> and there it so is. You're doing D and D dice play set then? Yeah. So yeah, let, let's dice? let's visit that. I, I'm curious because there's the traditional dice for the, all those that, that really don't know. There's the six-sided dice which is the ones they use in casinos and whatnot. And oh, then once you start 40. playing, you got the, the four-sided dice, eight-sided, 20-sided, 100-sided. What are you talking about when you redesign dice? So, actually, I have a very good example um, because... Um, also, if this is a bit of a nerd alert, so if you want to skip this about maybe five minutes... <laughs> You about probably, 45 minutes or so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still talking about so, his dice. <laughs> I because I actually recently won a uh, Instagram contest from oh, yeah I remember a, that I remember that. a what? hand yeah I won an Instagram contest from a handmade dice maker so somebody Dude, that actually does tag this. me so much as far as free miniatures and I'm like okay I'm gonna tag you back hopefully either one of us and then I'll tag your wife and then she started <laughs> tagging me on board games I was like okay I'll tag you back and it's like a pay game. forward kind of thing where <laughs> you tag three people and they tag three more yep yeah. that's pretty much how it works yeah yeah, yeah. So, so anyways so I I won these dice uh, you can see they're I'll take off my background because it's stupid uh, so for those of you who don't know, going flying away. fuzzy snake dicks with oh, smiling They're, they're going to disappear for just temporarily here. I don't even know how to turn this shit off. Well, I, guess it's, I guess it's not happening. It's that, it's no. that little ellipses next year. I was able to see the dice. Or in the bottom corner. Okay, okay. So yeah. that that's... No, eh, no, they're gone. Oh, there we really? go. If it's yeah. in front of they're my face, face, you can face. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's a 20-sided dice. Um, and so for those of you also known as a D20. D20. It looks like uh, the crystal from uh, Jurassic Park where they drilled yeah. through to get the blood from the mosquito. Exactly. It's called amber. This it's one's pretty cool because it actually has like bits of like moss inside as mosquito. well. There's a yeah, and there's like a <laughs> tiny little mushroom in here too. Very cool. Uh, yeah. So I'll actually does it doesn't it. affect the balance at all, does it? Oh, well, probably. It, does, it always rolls gorgeous. twenty. I don't know. Perfectly weighted. Uh, so perfectly but, yeah, there's a whole, perfectly there's a whole weighted set. for a natural twenty. <laughs> There's, yeah, nice. there's, a whole, there's a whole set so there's a so that's what 20, you won yeah this is what i won the 20 sided dice 12 sided dice 6 sided dice 4 sided dice 8 sided dice and 2 10 sided dice uh so that makes a whole gaming set and that's for you know tabletop rpgs because i'm a giant nerd have you ever rolled a 100 sided dice yes it's so kind of it's kind of cool actually <laughs> You just totally. close that to a ball. Let it roll. It's basically a ball, yeah. Right. You just wait for it to kind of do its thing. You're like, now, okay, seventeen. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Is there a slope on this table? It just won't stop. <laughs> well, yeah. So I play. I actually run a few Dungeons and Dragons games. I am what is known as a dungeon master. Oh, speaking of which, actually, this foreshadowing. You, you just reminded me. Actually, the last time we played was uh, with you, uh, Braden, and uh, your friend Jeff, and Perfect. we were using Zoom. Now, the funny thing was, about half an hour ago, I was on a Zoom call with my other my part time job at the Odd, when my coworkers did their <laughs> Christmas party, and the reason why that was funny. Previous to that, <laughs> I had a condo <laughs> meeting with Zoom, and I never used Zoom. And previous to that, I was playing with you guys, but I changed my name because I was goofing around, and I forgot I changed my name when I jumped in the meeting for and, my, and my condo what, meeting. And what was your name, Ray? M- my name was Aunt Jemima, <laughs> and I I jumped into the the Zoom meeting with the condo board for our annual meeting. And I was like, "Uh oh, how do I change the name? Shit!" <laughs> and I didn't realize until we were in the meeting like five, ten minutes, and the moderator's like, "Aunt Jemima, okay." I was like, "Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I guess it's a default name in Zoom." <laughs> no, man, you blame the kids. <laughs> you gotta blame your kids. Your kids. dad. You blame the kids. <laughs> I I let a huge fart rip the other night, and I just looked at my daughter. I was like, Amelia. That was inappropriate. <laughs> Either that or the dog. I blame the dog. 
Finnegan, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's. I, I wish I wish I could blame the dog, but if it was him, he would have jumped up. <laughs> so he's he's got a bit of a tell when it comes to that. <laughs> All right, so get phased. He just <laughs> silent. Sorry, did you explain what kind of dice you're designing, or are we? Are so we just... I'm designing. No, we so similar to this, but uh, the ones I want are uh, they're going to have some really cool recessed lettering, uh, and some of the ones are actually going to be textured like stone. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, and actually, the one that I'm kind of working on right now, um, a, a creature in the Dungeons and Dragons lore is a uh, gelatinous cube. Uh, oh god! So no. I'm I'm making dice Jello. that look like a gelatinous cube. So like you know the kind of wavy texture that you'd yep. find on that. And I'm actually inside the resin. I'm gonna put like little like bits, like body parts and skulls and stuff. Because the gelatinous cubes, they you know consume their that's victims cool. and then they they dissolve them over time. So that's kind of a, a are fun you, little. Are you gonna three D print those skulls? Because I may have a bunch of them. No, man, Warhammer bits are so bloody cheap on eBay. I can probably yeah. get like, you know, more bits to last me a year for like ten bucks. Right on. That's good. I may have a bunch too. Just uh That's cool. As a side note. Nice. Awesome. Very nice. So, so yeah, that's that's me. I have that's cool, too hobby. many too many things going on. Yeah. And I can relate to this because I actually worked for a miniature company for about seven, eight years. So it's it's pretty cool. But I think I, I've grown so far away from it at this point that I haven't touched anything. Like whenever I do go to Jeff's, we we end up sitting down and painting every once in a while, and I'd like to get back to it. But it just it just takes too much time for me. You just have, you're just too damn busy. Yeah, a little bit. I I have a habit of uh, biting off more than I can chew, and then trying to recover. And you know <laughs> that's the that's my the story of my life. <laughs> you, you get free time. Don't you? No, uh, I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I can't remember the last time I saw Ray. <laughs> When was the last time I saw you? <clears throat> My place. Uh, Probably, yeah. The My place in the summer. Yeah. Oh, that's Ty right. Was yeah, Ty's party, yeah. Yeah. Oh, weird. All right. Shout out to Ty. Hi, Ty. Hey, buddy. Hey, Ty. Uh, hey, 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 hey to everybody that's listening. Probably Trayton, too. Trayton listens on a regular basis. Hey. Um, so tonight... That beef jerky was great, by the way. <laughs> it's so good. Banana. Banana. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> so uh tonight uh we have something else planned this is suggested by uh, uh, tay and we are playing a game of what are we playing would there, you Brady? rather would you rather now i don't think any of us have reviewed the the list that we've been given i and haven't seen i it. got no clue I, I i took a quick peek and i just Tay and I were actually having a conversation about something, some other project, and it's scrolled way past, so I have no idea what it's consisting of. Um, what I can do is, where is, oh, this is the wrong group. I will pull up the list. Brendan, you got the list there too? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. I've got nothing. All right. <clears throat> I will. You want to uh, give them the gist of would you rather? Um, while I pull up this list. Sure. So basically we're given a scenario with two options and we, uh, we decide which option we'd take over the other <clears throat> and, you know, discuss from there, uh, knowing us, we're going to, or, you know, especially knowing me, I'm going to fucking over explain everything. Um, <laughs> wait, and we need to I'm, explain every, or our choice. Uh, Chances are, knowing the the <laughs> options that Taylor had sent over to Ray, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna need to elaborate on why we chose right. <laughs> specific so, answers because I'm sure they are yeah. either dirty or just straight fucked up. So, funny story before we, we even get into this, uh, explain what had happened there when she was going to send all the information to you. Do you remember, Brayden? Uh... I believe there was a instance where she was writing everything down. Guess not. So no, nope. no. Nope. It's not ringing a bell. <laughs> she, she was. She found. She found the list and she started writing them down. But this is all on the internet. And Brain's like, "Why don't you just send me a screenshot?" <laughs> She's like, "Oh yeah, I could do that too." So yeah, <clears throat> we're gonna start this off. I found it. 
Question. Uh, off, well, we'll start off with this one. Would you rather have Cheeto dust on your fingers for a year or have to walk around in wet socks for a year? Cheeto dust. That shit's Cheeto, delicious. That's, that's Cheeto funny, dust man. on my fingers because yeah, you... Man. Does that I've mean had I had to walk around and it never ends? Yeah, like, man. I, I think so. Use... Well, yes. if it if it's on your fingers for a year, absolutely, you're going to be able to uh, you're going to be able to taste it because oh, that awesome. that shit just doesn't go away. It's almost it's almost like fucking uh, uh, fucking glitter. It's like you know right. the herpes of foodstuffs. So if if you're in the shower, it would be like orange water at the at the base of your feet at the shower. It just Although, goes on. Take taking a step back. If we play a lot of video games, you don't want oh, cheesies no. on your fingers. Oh, that's when you put gloves You're, on, dude. You you wear gloves. That's kind of cheating, though, that, isn't it? Uh, no. No, man. I know. It's not scenario. cheating at all. The only not gloves I have, I have two sets of gloves. I got winter gloves and I got hockey gloves. Well, you go you go to the fucking dollar store and you pick up a box of those fucking like rubber medical gloves. <laughs> yeah, medical the latex gloves. <laughs> the latex ones. The latex ones. Bring the case bad. into the bed night bed, like in the table next to the bed. You get well, a little yeah, rubber finger gloves, the finger gloves, because you don't need the whole hand, right? The yeah, little the, little, front finger. the little finger condoms, the little finger condoms for the anal stuff. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, good. So we are all in consensus because I will che- pick Cheeto dust over anything. Yeah, the wet, the wet dust. socks, the wet that socks thing is not fun. I've done it. I've done it for a day at work because I I stepped in a large puddle and that sucked and it was it was not fun and I wanted to shoot myself in the face. Yeah. So All let's right. can, let's if, not go with that. If All we right. can wear if we can wear gloves, then yeah, that's fine. I, I if think, I can't wear I think, gloves, then I think it's a fair workaround. Yeah. And Even if I can't wear gloves, I would wear I would choose the Cheeto dust. I'd be so I'd bad choose. getting exactly. Cheeto dust in my controllers though, or my computer, or your my control, mouth. You'd get a new controller every other day. <laughs> just, just Cheeto dust and just destroy it. Your keyboard. What do you think? It's mouse. like pouring out of your the tips of your fingers. It's a like you're the Cheeto fairy? Have you ever had <laughs> Cheetos on your controller? It gets ruins a mouse. A mouse is just gone right away. It just gets in the cracks and the grooves. You can't Can you imagine if you had the old ball mouse? How much would it accumulate there? <laughs> oh no, not the balls. Oh my god. I, it's, it was so satisfying cleaning the gunk out of those balls. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, you, you know what I'm talking about. We're we're all consensus. <laughs> we'll, we'll go to the next one. Would you rather sit on a very cold toilet seat or a slightly warm toilet seat? I don't give a shit either way. Honest, so honestly, when when I got a shit, I got a shit. Somebody was sitting on it right before you. That's uh, why. So that's what I'm guessing. I, I think I think that's the implication. Yes, the implication is that it's warm because somebody was just in there right before you. Someone else is right there. You're like, oh, if it's freezing cold, you know that that seat's been vacant for a while, but you got to put up with five minutes of just pure hell. Eh. I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't call it pure people, hell. I, I'm I a bit of a furnace, so those oh. five seconds are pretty bad. But I don't know. <laughs> I think I'd rather know that it's clean. <laughs> I guess it depends on who came out before that. <laughs> I would, I would have to, I would have to assume we have no idea who it is no, that no. who was sitting on it previously. But at the end of the day, uh, it all depends on how badly I need to shit. Yeah. Right. If if you know, I'm it's, if, it's I'm running, if I'm running, if I'm running to the can, I I don't care. I don't care who was on there last. I'm I'm gonna shit, and Here's... it's gonna it's gonna be forty minutes of bliss at the end of the day. Forty minutes of tech break. Tech break. <laughs> There, there's been times a lot of that I've walked here. into the bathroom at work and crossing paths through that front door, and there's some some obese man <laughs> that you just you just know he did something bad in here, and you open up that stall and you and sit it, on that warm. Seat. But here's the thing: and you walk past him, and it wafts past him too. You're like, uh oh, yeah. no. And the other one that was there, the other stall, because there's usually two stalls in there, and the other stall is out of order. Yeah. The worst was Thai after hot wings. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thai after hot wings, oh, man. Dear. Love you, buddy, but oh, jeez, Louise. Okay. Are we yeah, all yeah. Cold seat there. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm on cold, cold, seat. cold seat, warm seat. I really don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah I'm a furnace, so I heat shit up all the time. I know some people are really weirded if out I... by pooping in public and stuff like that i i will go anywhere gotta go, gotta side go. of the road wherever I don't are know. we uh, are we keeping track of these uh, these oh. answers no this, this is just a it's just just a, a conversation i guess it's all recorded on the podcast so. yep 
<laughs> your hair, your yeah, hair is out of control. If you really need to tally it up, you can listen back to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let me get my printed paper. <laughs> <laughs> this is homework, people. Yeah. So, but, uh, I guess if we really needed to pick one, I'd, I'd say a cold seat. Because, I'd, I'd you know, cold it, well. it, it, it wakes me the fuck up so that I can, you know. <laughs> Whoa. It Whoa. does. Yeah, it does. Go, go about uh, go about my business. See, right. I'd go, I would go warm seat if I had to pick because, you know, I'm getting older and like they're, they're coming down a bit. And Hold on. Can you describe what you're, what you're motioning here? Cause they can't see Sorry. the camera. That's him my, gently caressing my, a bullet, tugging. My boys, on. my boys. Those boys. He's, he's tugging. He's his referring to testicles. his testicles. Yes. Testicles, right? They, they, no, they're all adults here. We can a use little, the term. A little looser. Thank you, Brad. Than they normally, you know, well, they have in my youth and. They... Have you have you sat down on your balls by accident on a toilet seat? I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I've been there, man. I, I would I would have it. to believe it is possible. I haven't done it, but I'm I'm positive somebody's done it. I'm happy to say my balls are not hanging that way. <laughs> that's not a problem. I mean, I'm, I'm the old son of the group, but I've never had that issue. <laughs> Groups or boxers? <laughs> Start in the breeze, Jeff. <laughs> Keep them in there. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're... let your imaginations go wild. Sweet. All right, are we good for the next question? Yes, sir. All right. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson in his prime for sixty seconds, or have his voice and lisp permanently? Voice and lisp permanently. You'd be dead. You'd just die if you fought Mike Tyson for sixty seconds. Yeah, he would kill you. You'd just not be alive anymore. Unless you're a trained professional, do I have a year to train for this fight? I don't know. It doesn't say. I guess I, let's let's say you do. Yeah. Okay. I let's think I think it really all depends on on <laughs> how well you can dodge. Yeah. Like because... I played a I played a lot of dodgeball back in the day, <laughs> and I know the five Ds. Dodge right? a wrench. You can dodge a Mike Tyson uppercut. <laughs> so I would in probably his prime. now in his prime. Yeah, that's in specifically prime? in his prime for sixty seconds. Like versus Roy Jones, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> last week. Well, here's the thing. Last week, yeah, he fought Roy Roy Jones Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition match, and he was still scary. Yeah. I remember. This, I remember specifically. This sounds like a sports reference. Yeah, Jones was saying is like I, I, you know, it's I got to talk to my family if I want to do a rematch because getting hit by Mike Tyson in the ribs and in the in the stomach sucks still. And Mike Tyson's over fifty something now, or how out of fifty three, fifty four? I don't know. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll have to look that up if we really care. But yeah, he's he he still hits like a ton of bricks. I don't know. I would probably do like the flail and scream method. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? And then oh you know distract him, kind of thing. So I don't know. Maybe that would work. Uh, you know, I because I definitely wouldn't want to talk like him for the rest of my life. So. Could you repeat the question? Like, is okay. this a is this so, like a a regular like officiated match, or is are we talking like a street fight? Because if it's a street fight, I'll kick the guy in the balls and run the fuck away. <clears throat> well, it, all it says here is, would you rather fight Mike Tyson in his prime for sixty seconds, or have his voice and lisp permanently? So, I mean, if you want to have a street fight with Iron Mike Tyson. <laughs> there, there's no ref to stop like, stop, stop your stop to save I, your life. I I straight up don't care if I'm in a street fight. I'm gonna kick you in the balls. I'm gonna get the fuck out of there. Plain and simple. Just imagine you just trying to get in Mike Tyson's zone close uh, enough to give wow. him a kick in the balls. No. Hey guys, did you hear that Braden died? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to have we a had to brand the, the podcast to uh, three, three dads and a uh, weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Weekend uh, at Brady's. Yeah, Brady. Sorry. <laughs> no, like... don't ever, don't ever fucking call me that. <laughs> Brady. This is no. coming down. All right. So, how about you? There, uh, we got Jeff's opinion there. Je- uh, Sean. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I think if I had time to prep for the fight and I knew that I would not die after one minute, I would, I would go with the fight. It, so no one's really can see but... my face right now, but I am cringing so hard. You know, you would totally be a legend even if you lost after it's that, true. too. You, yeah. you would have that. I fought and didn't die against Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would probably get a lisp in the process. He'd punch me in the face and I'd probably bust something up and have a lisp anyway. 
Right. And then, well, and then you just kicked out of me. <laughs> so, and then you just walk out of there and you just want to kick the guy. But you got you got to have a, a couple pitches higher, Braden. That's the thing. His voice is super high. It is it is very high. It's very high. It can get I can't get much higher than this. <laughs> but uh okay. Seriously? His you know, laugh it's, is it's all right. when he gets excited about something when he says something that right. makes himself laugh. He just he just goes up another level. And I've been watching just... a, a few videos of him on YouTube recently and I remember yeah. watching him talk about when he got tigers when he was in jail. I was like, "What?" It is this so is my strange. favorite part. Right. <laughs> and he was just like he was so excited and, and so keen on getting tiger cubs. I was like, this is so strange to hear him be so excited about uh by them. Um so uh for me, uh I fight on a regular basis, but I don't fight professional boxers. And I know how long sixty seconds is in the ring, and it fucking sucks if you don't train properly. I would still take the sixty seconds though. You'd have your shield. Oh man, it's just shield, Danax, sword, <laughs> all my my armor, my helmet on. Holy fuck! Like there's there's obviously no rules in this this one statement here, but I would still take the fight. I mean, Buster Douglas will last what six seconds here, but I guess sixty seconds. It's sixty seconds of if it's a boxing match, it's sixty seconds of me cowering and trying to hold his arms and hiding and running. And I don't run. I don't normally run at all. Like, I hate running from a fight, but against Mike Tyson in his prime, he's going to explode my spleen as soon as he hits my... my, my, yeah, my you, don't, you don't really need the spleen anyway. Yeah, but it's messy on the inside, right? So, well, that's... <laughs> so, I think we've all sided with the fight. Not yeah. Uh, yeah, are we all fighting? I think we're all fighters. I, right. you know, <laughs> as, much, as much as I love the lisp, you know, I'm, I'm a little biased on the lisp, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I'd probably take the 60 seconds. Just take my chances. Right on. There's a good chance you won't die. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good chance. Like you if, know, it, it, again, it, it, all, not... it all depends on what type of fight we're talking about. Yeah, I'm imagining it, if he's in his prime, then he's boxing. So you're going to be, I'm imagining it just in a boxing ring, 60 seconds with Tyson gloves on. Now... If it's Street Fighter, if I well, if I if I were to if I were if to kick knuckles, the guy, am I going to get disqualified and be taken out of the ring? Because if that's the case, yeah, absolutely. No, no, Street Fighter, like Street Fighter Two, Hadouken, Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Tyson. Fucking owned him. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So. Cool. No, we're good so, with that. I think I think we're good on that one. Okay. Yeah. So the next one. Would you rather you'd have Every song you heard slowly turn into All Star <laughs> by Smash Mouth. Yeah. Or somebody once told me the world is gone. It fits. It fits with every single song. Yep. Or have every or every movie you watch slowly turn into Shrek. Oh. <laughs> I I really like Shrek, so I that's not a problem for me. Uh, Wait, how far into it? Like the end credits just roll into it, or I don't know. It, I guess it would be random at this point. I think it's really what you'd rather give up, and I'd rather give up movies and music. I'd rather give up movies and music too. So yeah, yeah everything that's... slowly turns to Shrek. Uh, do I want to watch yeah. Shrek the whole time though? You know, you don't have to watch movies. That's just it. No, that's do, the work just, it's, it's just Shrek. If you yeah, have a kid, if it it's like... a kid, you pretty much watch the same thing for eight years anyway. Oh That's man, true. <laughs> Raina watched uh, Princess and the Frog for two years straight. Yeah, I was like, I've still go. never seen it. It's a good watch. I've watched The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. I'm sure fourteen times this week. <laughs> is, that the, is that the newest? Is that the newest the, one or the, the one with Jim Carrey? One. Yeah, the oh. new animated one with yeah. uh, was it Andy Helm? How about you, Jeff? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I guess movies. You'd give up movies? So no, you can't watch I'd, Marvel. He, he, he hates he hates the acting in every movie anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, there's a callback to our conversation as far as Peter Jackson redoing the the Lord of the Rings in 4K. Is that... <laughs> Technically, he was remastering it. He wasn't remastering. Really like, sorry, remastering. Yeah, well, remastering doesn't improve the acting, so. So it might as well be Shrek, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, because Mike Myers, that guy. 
That's the Balrog. <laughs> Best he's a, actor. He's a great actor. He's a phenomenal oh, actor. Oh, he's a good he's actor. Great, no, I'm just saying. Character. I just, I've never, to be he's honest, I've never talent. really enjoyed Shrek. So uh, I think I, I would be less inclined to enjoy Shrek versus Smash Mouth. So I'm torn. Fuck. I'm so torn. I love movies so much. And I don't mind All Star. <laughs> <laughs> Just and, like, who I, are I, you? I'm all, I, you know what? I we beat dead horses all the time. What's another? What's another round of uh, Smash Mouth? <laughs> uh, anyway, I, here's Wonderwall. Oh God! Although, what if if you pick movie or you pick music as the thing that you'd want to get rid of because you don't want Smash Mouth, then you just all the movies that you end up watching, you can watch concerts and stuff. So, but technically, they're playing songs, right? So, so like you're going to be watching. So the watching. concert would still just be Smash Mouth. Yeah, and the soundtracks in the movies would be all Smash it's an Mouth. actual song. It's going to turn so into all. Like God, it's no, movies be... had to be an exception. No, it's, it wouldn't. I don't be. think so. Every song, right? Every so... song. So when Vader comes in, it's playing the Imperial March. Uh, uh, hey man, uh, you're a rock star. <laughs> I would Can't love that. Sing. Just imagine if that I'm sure. Like, I'm sure it's been go. done. I'm sure it's been done. There I would is go a through dude... every movie to see where they would transition. I would love every minute of that. I know there is a dude Smash on YouTube Smash who there's a dude on YouTube who covers all of these different songs, like from every fucking genre out there. And he just sings the lyrics to All Star over top of them, right? Like it, it's ins- you know. it's insane how well it it fucking so into everything. Picture this: you're watching Inception, and the music <clears throat> in that mu- in movie is all All Star, so it's slowed down every time they jump into jump into the dream. I'd still watch that movie. <laughs> now, what if? What if you just had it muted and you just did subtitles? Would the subtitles change to the lyrics? Music playing, lyrics. <laughs> so I can't, even, <laughs> I can't even read what the characters are saying. It's just all, hey, now you're an all-star. Oh, dude. Okay, guys. This et cetera, exist. et cetera. It <laughs> exists. I'm sharing my screen. This is... Oh, here we go. Oh, you found the Imperial March with all-star? Oh, dude. I told you. I knew it. Oh, this will be good. This... This isn't even would you rather. This is already somebody's reality. Oh, I fucking called it. Somebody once <laughs> told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger in right, the shed. And that's, that's, that, is, uh, that, it, that exists. I absolutely love it. Oh my god! Fucking knew it. (laughs) Yeah. All right. So, three of you uh, choose movies, and I pick uh, music. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We go. (laughs) You'd rather? I can't stand Shrek. So, are we good to uh, go to the next one? Yes. All right. Would you rather have a cat? With a human face? <laughs> or, or a dog with human hands instead of paws? A cat with a human face. Cat with a face? That sounds awesome. Cat with a human face, because I could I could not deal with a dog walking around <laughs> with hands? human hands. That would be a wicked game of catch with your dog, though. <laughs> he'd be tripping all over the place he wouldn't use his mouth he'd just throw little the pups. He, he, like he would let himself out yeah <laughs> you ever seen know. those videos of like, the dogs shit. wearing the booties and they're walking like this no I, I couldn't do it I he would put his it. own poop in the bag he just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that hurts my brain to even think about <laughs> but so you have your cat. You're doing your work. It comes crawling to to your leg. You know how cats rub against your leg, oh, yeah. and then looks up to you in this little tiny human face and goes, "Meow." <laughs> yeah, I'm in. I'm sold. 
Can you pick the face? I guess, yeah, when you go pick it out, they'd all just have different human faces. I, would I would have to assume they're all individual faces. At that what, what, point, it wouldn't be human faces. Face. Everybody has the same cat face. Daddy DeVito. <laughs> oh, if, if, if every cat looked like had the face of Danny DeVito and had the voice of Danny DeVito, just meow. <laughs> I can't do a Danny DeVito impersonation, so don't Fucking even meow. ask. But just just meows at you in the voice of Danny DeVito through Danny DeVito's face. I'm sold. 100%. Or, or, or... <laughs> like her face would just blend in with the cat. It wouldn't even... <laughs> I think I'd be going with the cat, but I think the dog is, would be hilarious to watch. <laughs> yeah. The hands flapping I'd, on them. I'd, yeah, you know, I'm I changing could, my I answer could, because yeah. that would be hilarious. <laughs> just... <laughs> Uh, dog again with with human hands. Oh yeah, that'd be too funny. I would. But then, I would probably pop the gut every day. He would be climbing on shit so easily. Easily. It'd be a gorilla dog. <laughs> it would be a gorilla, being able to climb and it would throw its shit everywhere for sure. Well, their <laughs> their legs their legs don't move the same way a gorilla. Yeah, oh, having your dog give you the finger. Oh my god. <laughs> the dog just flipping you off. All right. <laughs> so we got three cats and a dog. Is that what we're calling here? Two two dogs, two cats. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I, I think I'm the only one that picked cat. I like cat. Cat for sure, man. Oh, you want cat too? Uh, I, I have two cats. I wouldn't mind putting a human face on my cats. It'd be okay, so funny as shit. I think we're two and two. <laughs> right on. All right. Next one. Would you rather give up your favorite food forever or wake up <laughs> Day with a four percent chance that you're completely covered in peanut butter. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Say that again. What? what was the ratio of peanut okay. butter and waking up? <laughs> Would you rather give up your favorite food forever, or wake up every single day with a four percent chance that you are completely covered in peanut butter? So once every three weeks, you're waking up with peanut butter all over you. Yeah. Or you can never eat your one favorite food. Yeah. Food. So let's say our favorite food is wings. You can never eat wings ever again. I'm okay with not eating wings. Uh, you're a vegetarian, Jeff. <laughs> Listen here, you don't get a no, no, on, no, no veggie hot dogs. It's favorite options, food. Okay? We're just giving an example of what that could be. <laughs> oh, Listen okay. here, Mr. Cauliflower Wings. All right. Shit's delicious. I'm right, not. Hey, I'm not I, disagreeing I scratch my with balls. you. But... Yeah. Oh boy! I don't know. Well, that's every, that's a beautiful face. Yeah. 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 God. I, what? <laughs> Thanks for that, Jeff. It. He smelled it. Sorry, yeah. what? Sniffed it. <laughs> Your fingers defaulted to your nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that smells normal. I'm not yeah. sick. <laughs> we all do that. Right. Oh, from time to time, you what? just gotta make sure you need. Uh, you just gotta make sure that it's safe to uh, force the wife down there. You know, yeah. or should I shower first? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna do that. Um, I don't know. Once every once every three weeks to be fully covered in peanut butter. I think if I knew which day it was gonna be and I could is, prep for it, is that? But it's a it's a four percent chance it's though. 4%. You don't know. So yeah. like Two words, plastic sheet. <laughs> plastic sheets. Plastic sheet. Would That's you rather fair. give up yeah. your food or sleep on plastic sheets for the rest of your life? No, oh. I'd give up the food, man. Like, you know, I could go without not eating a burger. That's fine. There's It's your favorite food. It's not someone else's No, favorite. I know. I said burgers are my favorite food. Here's the thing. My daughter's allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking well, it I to guess, all other levels. I guess, Ray, you don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. No, this one's been decided I, for you. I Thanks, love food, though. Kiddo. Raina, you can't come in. There's a four percent chance I'm just covered. <laughs> How do you have there's a four percent chance that you don't, will die if you don't, enter don't here. Get out of here! Listen, I woke up this See morning, that? so there's a good chance tomorrow I won't have it. So let's just, let's just go for it. And then peanut butter goes everywhere, and eventually she's gonna be in contact with it. No, yeah. I I can't. I su- that sucks. I love. You'd food. have to get it like a shower installed in your bedroom. I'd have to sleep in the shower. Yeah, you just need to soak that off. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, like a or special like scraper. Or like, get a talk like, with hands. You got a dog with hands. Just, just, scrape it off. <laughs> just just scrapes it off and immediately just sticks his fingers. 
and then it and then obviously it gets way too lazy about scraping it off so it goes straight to licking it clean off you oh my god, oh my god i'm what... changing my answer <laughs> <laughs> Finnegan just waking you up every fucking what? morning. Had to stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> just gonna... Not today, Finnegan. I'm not covered in peanut butter. <laughs> it's just out of habit now. <laughs> yeah, I think that's. I think giving up the favorite food is the obvious choice there. You'd obviously develop another favorite, and then like it's a one-time trade, right? It's not like when I have a new favorite food, I'd give it up too. Yeah. Like it's a one-time deal. I mean, now, I like lots of food, so I I could yeah, you could you could find uh, a new favorite easy. You know the the fact that it's a four percent chance, it doesn't guarantee that there is going to be a day in that you know three week span that you mentioned that you're actually going to wake up covered in peanut butter. It's only a four percent chance every day. Yeah, the clock re- like the statistics reset every day. Let's run the statistics with my dice. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's one in 25. Sorry. Yeah, it's one in 25. One in so 25 days. Uh, yeah. I, I, well, that's, that, again, that's still not a guarantee, though. No, right? nothing's a guarantee. Saying. You can roll a dice at infinite times. It could never roll up on a single thing, but it could do the same one over and over. No, but it's gonna roll unless, statistics unless speaking, dice. it's going to be one in 25. All right, yeah. cool. Anyway, yeah. all right. So, what right. do we decide? I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, 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 I'd probably know. risk it with the peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter blowjob for me. <laughs> From Finnegan. Yeah. I'm good with it. <laughs> I, I don't want to kill my P- kids. So. I, I also, I also really enjoy peanut butter, so you know, I'd, I'd probably just <laughs> eat it off myself. I like it too, but can, yeah. can you, you get Taylor to make me a shirt that says PBBJ? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah I can. Awesome. Merry Christmas. I'm going to uh I'm I'm gonna text her that right now. Yeah, P B B J. There we go. No problem. Thanks. All right, so next question. Ready? <clears throat> if a sex tape of yours is accidentally leaked on a popular website, would you rather it have one billion views or zero views because nobody no one wants to see it? Oh baby a billion. I, want, I, want. I think I'd, I'd rather zero in that case. I'm not trying to impress anybody else. Right. I just think it would be funny. There's a billion people. That's one in seven people have seen it like, everywhere you go. D- that Again, no, not necessarily. It just means that there have been seven billion views on, or a billion views on it. So it could have been it's the same just single dudes. person. <laughs> yeah, it could have just been three over over dudes again. just on repeat constantly every day, covered in peanut butter with their dog. You know, you don't you don't know how many times somebody's viewed it, so you don't know how many people have actually seen it. And what's the but monetization on the billion views? That's true. Are you making money off of this? Because if so, billion views. Yeah. Like after the first like three views i don't think you'll really care anymore so and i think then it'd be funny to walk down the street and somebody be like hey you're that guy i'm like yeah i'm that guy yeah yeah i'm that guy <laughs> i'm that and guy, the guy with the and at the views. end of the day once it's on the internet it's there you can't get yeah. rid of it yeah <laughs> so so you, yeah you you might as well just say eh, fuck it with a billion views though that's endorsement territory oh right. absolutely you're getting browsers calling you up <laughs> Hey. They're probably not calling for you, but you know, I, I'm. You know what? I'm of the mind that I don't care either way at this point. Like you, you make a strong point as far as the billion views and and the success associated with it. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, it's yeah, like, the financial perspective. Who really cares? Nobody wants to see this in action. <laughs> But if somebody does want to, well, hey, you might as well make some money off of it. There you go. There you go. Speaking of which, we have a Patreon. If you want to visit patreon.com <laughs> slash four dads and a podcast, that'd be great. We have some content on there soon. So uh, give it a look. Dun, dun, dun. Also, um, at the, 
at this point here, we want to say this is probably the halfway point. <clears throat> so if this is your first listen through for this one, there is a second part. So thanks for listening uh, to Four Dads and Podcasts, and we will be back with part two of uh, Would You Rather? This has been an FHN production. Listen to our new shows every week on Thursday on any podcast platform. Also, check out our live shows on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch.